Hi everybody on YouTube. How are you? I am about to play a clip, but before I do, I would like for everybody that is right-handed to take your left hand and hold your right hand down. And anybody that is left-handed to take your right hand and hold your left hand down. Okay? Have fun. Texas Governor Rick Perry was back on the campaign trail uh, at last night's Republican presidential debate after announcing on Monday that he was returning home to focus on massive wildfires raging across much of his state. He spoke at a town hall meeting in South Carolina. Our state has got wildfires that are um, running quite wild and zero containment right now, and the winds are supposed to pick up again. So uh, just, just keep those folks uh, in your prayers, if, if you will, as we go back and, and try to get people out of harm's way and, and uh, uh, get our state um, and pray for rain uh, as well. Perry went on to participate in his first Republican presidential debate last night, where he questioned the science behind global warming, and former governor, uh, former Utah governor John Huntsman repeated his criticism of Republicans who are climate change deniers. When you make comments that fly in the face of what 98 out of 100 climate scientists have said, when you call into question the science of evolution, all I am saying is that in order for the Republican Party to win, we can't run from science. We can't run from mainstream uh, conservative philosophy. We've got to win voters. Now that guy was cool, but this is just a reminder. Hold your hands down. Governor Huntsman was not specific about names, but the two of you do have a difference of opinion about climate change. Just recently in New Hampshire, you said that weekly or even daily, scientists are coming forward to question the idea that human activity is behind climate change. Which scientists have you found most credible on this subject? Well, I do agree that uh, there is... The science is, is not settled on this. The idea that we would put Americans' economy at, at, at jeopardy uh, based on scientific theory that's not uh, settled yet, it, to me is just it, is nonsense. I mean, it, it I me mean, and I and I tell somebody, I said, just because you have a group of scientists that have stood up and said, here is the fact, Galileo got uh, outvoted for a spell. But the fact is, to put America's economic future in jeopardy, asking us to cut back in areas that would have monstrous economic impact on this country is not good economics and I will suggest to you is not necessarily good science.